What is good guys and girls of YouTube? It is me, Justin Omoe, here with the video for you guys and girls on FL Studio tips and tricks, I guess. This is some of the shortcut keys that I use. If not some, then all the shortcut keys I use when it comes to basically editing, setting things up, routing, and such. First and foremost, let me go ahead and do this. Alt and Enter will allow you to work into full screen. You can even hit Control and F11, and you'll even, you know, hide the top bar, which means you'll be able to have more work with, um, you know, having a nice screen. But, you know, I use a lot of the things up here, like the play, record button. Uh, even though I don't need to, I can easily hit the R button to start recording or the space bar to play and to stop. So if you hold the control button while scrolling up or down on your wheel, on your mouse wheel, you'll be able to zoom into the uh, project. If you do not, it'll just scroll up and down. If you hold the alt button, <clears throat> the left alt button, by the way, um, it's going to stretch open these um, inserts rather than going left and right when I hold the control button. If we click on the mouse in the middle, we'll be able to use our hand tool to move around in the playlist. But if we double click the middle button and hold it down, we could zoom in, zoom out. If we triple click it, one, two, three, we'll be able to, you know, deal with the widening, the zoom widening. We could hold the control button. I'm holding the left control and right click on your mouse to go into a full view. So if we're like here, we want to look at the whole project, hold control, right click. You could hold control and right click again to, you know, go back into another zoom. You can hold right click drag to have a selection zoom. So we want to look at, you know, all the, the maracas, you know, they look nice. P is for pencil, is jotting one down at a time. B is for brush, we could paint it on there. C is to cut, but I don't use this. I don't use that, that's trash. But let's say we want to copy this whole exact phrase here, this whole segment. Um, What you could do, could hold control, Left click and drag to highlight. Uh, make sure we get everything because remember, there's like little cuts here. We could copy this whole segment by holding the, con uh, the shift button. I'm holding the left shift button. Click and then drag. So notice I just click and drag all while holding the shift button. So notice it's still red. It's let go. Now, if you click instead of drag, it's going to do that. You'll notice it blinked. And what really happened is that it copied it. So notice how when I drag out, you know, like this, it, there's two of them. So yeah, be wary of that. It could cause to doubling the sound. Notice that. Notice how it's quiet. So yeah, that could be a very key factor of, you know, being bad. I highlight this and I could press the delete key on my keyboard to delete it all. And yeah, we could hold the right alt button, click, and we'll be able to mute things. So if we hold the right alt button, click, and then drag over some sounds, we can mute them. Now take note that if we click and mute one of the other things, we won't be able to unmute the other sounds. That's because it's doing like a chain muting. So we can mute all this. But if we want to unmute, do the same thing click and then go on to the unmute and we could you know chain unmute all the sounds here hold the left alt button and then right click and you'll be able to get the preview sound and then hover over and you'll be able to listen to some sounds now this could be useful when it comes to figuring out yo what the hell is this weird noise i don't like or you know oh is that hi hat panning so let me unmute that Wow. We can hit control C, of course, go into the timeline uh, where we want it. Let's say we want to go here and delete that control V. Uh, it paces all the way back here. That's because it goes to the most, you know, left. And then we could do that. I don't like using that. We could also highlight it control B and press as many times that'll, you know, paste it in front. But yeah, my preference is holding as highlighting and doing the shift click drag. So let's say, oh, I want to delete all these or undo. Control Z will undo, but if you hit Control Z again, it'll, you know, redo. So if you want to do a chain of undos, meaning undo more, hold Control, Alt, and then press Z. 
So the more we press Z, it undoes more. Now, undoing has its own, you know, like file level. For me, I set it to 100 because, you know, I, I kind of mess up a lot or, you know, like tweaking one little thing could do a lot of history counts. So, yeah, uh, at default, I believe it's counted to 20. I put it to 100. So keep that in mind if you want to, you know, be more careful with your undoing. If we hold Alt and press T, the left Alt, we could create a marker. So I'm going to call this Intro. So notice the marker is here and it's called Intro. Now we could right click and then press Add Marker. Put this uh, course. See, uh, or we could highlight, go here, do the same Alt T verse. But the thing about it is that it goes into the beginning. So we'll just click and drag it over there. These are good when it comes to highlighting, keeping a section, and such. If you want to shift sounds that are out of the snap, meaning notice how it only goes from block to block, from bar to bar, because this is set on bar, and same, this is set on main. We could hold, while we're holding this, we could hold the left alt button and move it around. If we hold the right alt and the right shift button and we click, we will be able to get this slicer, which I really use a lot. I love this. Um, if you let go of the alt, it'll go back into snap. If you hold the alt and let go of shift, it'll go into an angle, which I don't like. So yeah, hold alt and shift, and you'll be able to click um, cut like that. <clears throat> now, if you do the same thing, alt, shift, and then right click, it gives this red line. So what this is going to do is delete the least amount when it comes to the cut. So notice how in this little cut section here, I'm going to do the majority on the right. So the left side will be deleted. So if I let go, notice how it deletes that. So this is good for trimming like vocal sounds. I say, oh, we don't want that. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Because this side was the more side. Like there was more on this side over here than that side. So we could trim it up like this. Yeah. And cool. Now we don't have that reverb, that, that dither sound. Instead of all that little electrical noise sounding sound. But yeah, I believe that is it for the playlist. So let's go into the uh, channel rack. This is pretty easy, pretty simple, not too much to think about. And yeah. So if we want to just clone something, we go right click, go to clone. But an easier way is to right click, then C. Um, for me, it's not doing it because I'm in a, a program OBS. But when you hit C, it goes to the clone and it'll automatically clone. So yeah, if you right click, go to D, it'll be, oh, confirmed. Do you want to delete? You could press O instead of clicking this to do that. So uh, let me just clone a couple of these. Right click D, O, right click D, O, that, that, just like that. Let's say we want a pattern. Let me just go to a new pattern here. And we want this to be like, Instead of wasting your time doing that, so let me go into the pattern. We could right click, go to fill each step two, and we'll have this here. If we want it to be in the third and the fourth instead, we could do something called, oops, we could rotate it, or damn it, I did it again. We could rotate it left and right, which is shift control right. So once we're highlighted onto it, the green, shift control right, and it'll open up the piano roll but what happened is that it shifted it over. For this, we have to make sure the bar is set. You know, so we could shift it. So once we do that, we'll have it moved over. So yeah, your snap, make sure you fix that up. Let's say we have a sound that we want to copy um, a style. So let's see. Not that one. Give me, okay. Let's say we want to copy this. If we highlight it with our green, we'll hit Control C to copy, and then we can go into like something like the bell, Control V to paste, and bam, that is on, you know, copy there. So we can mute this. And yep, same thing applies if you hit Control X, except this cuts it, and then we can paste it somewhere like here. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, hit Control X if you want to delete that. 
Now this here is a pretty useful technique and I like to use this now is if we highlight sounds that we want in a group, we can highlight them, you know, click and do this. You can also hold shift while you click to select individual parts. So, you know, in this case, I'll do, let's say, bass and all these weird things here. If we hold the Alt button, then press G, we'll do something called creating a group. And I could name this, uh, let's say, instrumental, or no, not instrumental. Let me name this percussion. Bam. Now you'll be, you know, confused like, whoa, something deleted. No, we created a folder. So now if we go into all, we'll see all our things here. But if we want only the percussion, go to percussion. If we want unsorted, meaning files that's not sorted into a folder, these are the ones that's unsorted. Audio is this file here. Audio, we go to all and so forth. Now here's one thing that I do not like to do. But it's something if you want to, you know, create space. If you want to zip files or, you know, close them down, um, we can hold the Alt button and press Z once we highlight the sounds. And notice how it, you know, compresses into these little icons here that we could click. It's not easy to, you know, deal with. But, you know, it's possible that we can do this. Now, if you want to open them up, you could right click. Or let's say we go back to Alt Z. Or we could unzip them all with the um, shortcut Alt and U. I don't like to use that because it's you know too not my thing. I don't really work with too much files, but that's something if you want if you work with a lot of files and such. If we highlight a sound and hold the left Alt button while going up and down, we can move those sounds around. We could do this with clusters as well. So let me hold Alt and notice how it's moving all four of these. Last thing I'll show you is that if you highlight all these sounds, go into the mixer. So let me go ahead and drag this so we have more of a spot. Um, we can hold Control, Shift, and press L, and we'll be able to put everything into these each and individual slots. So notice how they all went here. Um, I shouldn't have done that because everything is out of the effects now. So yeah, that's something that could really kill your project if you already had things in there so i might as well reopen this right now now with the mixer there's not too much i really um use when it comes to shortcut keys but there are styles that i like to do when it comes to saving and sending um projects or not project presets to other sounds now if we go here let's say oh this one has a stereo enhancer and a fruity reverb so let me go ahead and play that over here And let's say, oh, I want these effects on this hum that only has a parametric EQ too. We could copy all of these by right-clicking, go to File, Save Mixer uh, Track State As, and notice how there's a little icon, meaning we could click and drag this and put it on something else. So in this case, I'm going to put it in the, the Insert 8. So notice how I renamed the damn thing too. So I'll just rename this hum. Uh, middle click to rename, or you can right click, go to change icon, change color, rename right there. You can also hit F2 on the keyboard when you're highlighted. This works with um, these as well, F2, and probably even this. Well, these are actually, you know, not the same thing. Actually, wait, what? Okay, yeah, yeah. That'll rename the pattern here. So let me just. One thing to take in mind is that when you do do um do do when you do this method, it will overwrite everything like you've seen. You know, renames it, uh, um, and it also takes away the effects you had in here. So let's say we do want that. Um, let me go to the string synth. Let's say, oh, I want this fruity delay. We could click here, go to the same save preset, and notice it has a click and drag. I could click and drag it, put it on the hum, and note it is. Uh, notice that it's right here under instead of overriding, which is cool. So notice the the, the, the delay. Um, you might have just seen that I soloed everything except for the one that I'm here on. You could right click. So let me go on my vocals. Right click and it will mute everything else. There's also the keyboard for S. And it will solo. 
Similar to how you could do this in the pattern, you could double click and highlight sounds, hold alt, and instead of pressing up and down, you could move them left and right and push them away from uh, other, you know, sounds. You probably know this by now, but middle clicking on faders or knobs, these will reset the status. It even works on pans as well as, you know, everything. So let's say Colossus all the way up here. Middle click, it goes back. See? I showed you the uh, shortcut key of hit hold and alt and press an R to render mixer tracks. However, um, I already made a video about that with consolidating, freezing, and such. So, yeah. That is just how to render. If you want to learn more about that, just click the video. There'll be a little I button up here and you can see it. And yeah. The last um, shortcut key that I really use, I don't use, but it's a fun thing. If you hold Alt and press W, you'll view a waveform view instead of a decibel meter, which is cool. You can learn how to do left and right. Notice how it's more on the left side here rather than the right, right side. So yeah. It helps give you a better imaging with sounds, and it's, you know, pretty show-offy cool. So, yes, that is mostly all of the shortcut keys I really use. Um, one thing I didn't mention, but the same thing applies when it comes to piano rolls. Uh, let's say you want to copy. You can hold Control b and you'll be able to copy. Control C, then, <coughs> then highlight somewhere. Control V, you could paste it. You could also do the same thing from the playlist. Uh, hold Shift while you highlight, and you'll be able to do that. If you hold Control and Shift and then click on certain sounds, you could deselect them. Then you could do the same copy, paste, and so on. If you want to learn more shortcut keys, just be sure that when you go to the um, options, Right here, it'll say Control X, Control C, Control B. Um, these are the shortcut keys you could do to learn it up. So in this example, we could show you in the piano roll that doesn't really work in the playlist is that we can move files up an octave, uh, move sounds. So notice if I hold Control, press up, Control down. You can also hold Shift instead and move it up by one step or semitone. And yeah, so yes, that was it. Hopefully, you guys and girls have learned a lot of shortcut keys. Um, hopefully, I wasn't lazy and I actually put the words on screen so you can have a better way to learn it. And yeah, shortcut keys, they really do a lot and help you guys and girls out when it comes to creating sounds and styles and making everything, you know, nifty and nice and easier to work with. And yes, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you learned. If not, go ahead and watch back the video because, you know, it takes more than one time to learn something. And yeah, my name is Justin Omoe. Be sure to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to learn more stuff about FL Studio and be an artist and so on. And did I already say subscribe? Yeah, I did. So yeah, my name is Justin Omoe. Thank you for watching. And as always, peace.